Scott Brown here. And today's exciting episode, well, it's all about the inside and getting the inside finished. In the last episode, I was talking about how we had to do the ceiling. Now we've done the ceiling and because there was so much going on in here when we did the ceiling, I barely filmed it. We replaced some native timber ceilings that were up there and some of them were crazy bowed and some of them were just the wrong spacing so we had to remove them in order to get the correct spacing and ultimately achieve this look here where you've got the gridded system looking even. We popped up the Scotia, we got as much as we could done and while we were doing that we had the bench top guys underneath us checking the brand new kitchen bench tops in as well as laundry bench tops and I've got the plumber coming tomorrow and we've got our good friend the Tyler here today and then to add to that overlapping feeling Wednesday we've got the floor sander and the floor sander pretty much takes over everything this kitchen area and the hallway going all the way to the front door needs to be sanded and sealed. So, we've got that time slot and we can't move it, basically. The floor sanding has to happen this week. So I'm doing everything I can do today and tomorrow. Let's start with the wainscoting. And action! Hey Tyler. Hey Mike. It's looking good, eh? So these are hexagonal tiles. Yeah, what, what pattern? Like, you know, these patterns? And you have to orientate it in a certain way. Yeah. That looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, it looks good. It's a lot of work. I have to get all these cuts. Bang. On there. Oh, like all these. Oh, yeah, yeah wow. And how do you cut it? Because it's quite thick stuff. How do you cut it? Um, I cut it with the grinder. Angle yeah. grinder. Yeah. yeah. Mission? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's like... 12 mil or uh, 15 mil. 15. We won't get there. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the attitude. Yeah. So that's a plastic shower tray. It's a very dense board. And you trail that on. And it's thicker. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Wow. And that's how you stick to a plastic shower tray. Reusing all of this stuff here that we took off when we demoed the house. This was wainscoting, but it was kind of different. We had a laundry door there, we had more wall here, so it was all going across there. But we managed to pop most of it off intact, so we can reuse it here to go around this corner. I've been going under the house and scraping together bits of skirting that we took off as well. Sometimes it can make less economical sense to try and reuse the old. You know, you spend a lot of time getting it to a point where you can use it. So it's a lot of labor. But sometimes it's very hard to find this stuff. Stuff is gonna be stained, not painted. And this here matches the stained skirting that we have around here. It just needs to be scraped off and expose the grain so it looks the same. So we've got no choice, we have to reuse the old. Here's a bit under the window I installed. So I just trimmed it to account for the window and now that kind of looks like how it always looked. <sighs> and we're reusing and we're reusing these old architraves as well when some of them are in good condition, some are not in good condition, but we're just gonna make it work. Let's see how we do that, eh? We do have a couple of bits of skirting that's actually stained the color that we want, but um, nothing long enough for that section. So that's why I've gone to the painted one.
And then before we put that skirting in, this wall, much as was the case with the jib board above it, this wall down here needs to be packed too. Thankfully it needs to be packed evenly. In the middle and the top already had some. It's looking good, man. Oh, thanks. He's quilting. Super city tiling, eh? Yep. And the walls there as well. Some people ask about my headphones and earmuffs. Well, when I'm working, often when I'm working by myself, and sometimes when I've got a bunch of people here, I wear these because I can talk on the phone if somebody calls me. I miss less calls when I have these on my head. And I also heard recently that you're not meant to hook this up directly to the vacuum cleaner. Apparently you can burn the motor of the Capex out by plugging it into the vacuum cleaner. Now I don't know if that's true, I just heard it. So I haven't plugged it in since I heard that, but please Tell me in the comments if you have experienced otherwise, because that sounds too crazy to be true. And the whole point of having the combo, right, is to have the vacuum cleaner and the saw connected to one another. Again, I, I don't really believe it. It can't be true, right? These final parts of the job are always challenging because on the one hand you want to hurry up and get the job done you know these guys need a kitchen a bathroom but on the other hand it's the finishing things that we're doing last so these are things that you that you're gonna see right you're gonna see the skirting for years so I've got to make sure it's right I can't just slap it on and all that is even more true when the house is this old Everything is a little bit harder, but I, I think it's worth it in the end, you know? And in order to maintain the character, you've got to put the time in. Now when we took these out, it was very hard to save the tongue and the groove. For example, this here's got no, no tongue on it. It's got kind of half a groove. It's just hard to pull it all apart when it's got nails and who knows where. And this here doesn't have a groove either. The tongue is trapped inside. So we're just butting it in. And it's just sitting on top of the skirting, which is exactly how it was before. And there we go. And then we'll just keep an eye on the plumb. This one just needed to be ripped slightly. Gee, that's a loud truck. And then we're gonna go around the corner. So there we go, that's me just popping on the Wayne's coating. Just popping it on. We've only got a few left. Got these three here, and they're the worst ones. One was bowed. This one was 
That one's not bad, actually. This one here has a big scalp out of it, making it all but unusable. So we really were leaving it tight. Now before we bring the skirting around the corner, we need to put this architrave here on the laundry door. Now speaking of exciting things that should be coming up, this laundry door here that I've already hung, behind there, stained glass window, a really nice stained glass window. So we've covered it up with MDF and it used to be the entrance to this dining area when the hallway was all blocked off. So we've relocated it and made it work for here. So that's something to look forward to when all this is done. A nice little stained glass feature in the corner. Now that, that one is uh, on. I can rip one of the damaged ones, so I don't need the full width here. Woohoo! So I'd rather put the moulding over the finished plaster work. So I'm just um, decided to carry this pattern on here. When you're standing back in the kitchen looking at the laundry door, it'll be the same both sides of the door. Timber, timber. And there's actually going to be a shelf in here. So the timber will be stopped by this shelf. And that's going to be made out of leftover floorboards and things like that. This is a little bit of the architrave material. That's where my skirting is going to stop. When it's time to put the architrave on, I can just slot it in. No cutting around. No smoker time today. I stopped briefly, but not long enough. Perfectly plumb. Plumb, not level. It's a mistake I make all the time. And if you're wondering about the finishing hammer, well, it's exactly that. It's a stiletto titanium 10 ounce finishing hammer. And uh, I've had it for a while now. When Milwaukee gave it to me, I'll pop advertisement right there. When Milwaukee gave it to me, they said this is a finishing hammer and I, at first I was like, man, it's almost a toy. But it's been great for these little bits and pieces. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. There'll be a few more videos here yet. The final things, as you can see, take a bit longer than you think. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Thank you.